powerful connection presented by Xfinity. And Alfred Shingoon has been on one over the last three ball games. Youngest players with at least 25 points, 14 rebounds in a three-game span since the mid-80s. And you see where Alfred Shingoon fits on this list with some pretty good names there, including Shaq and AD and Chris Webber and Carl Anthony Towns. 20 years, 180 days. So young of the group last year of those handful of 19-year-olds the Rockets had last year. He was the youngest of the group. He won't be 21 until July. Pocket pass there as Anderson gets the shot. But in Minnesota coming out of the timeout is finally on the board. Edwards pressuring Ward. Trying to lose McDaniel. He's had his number defensively in these three matchups. And Colbert got a piece back. But how about Jalen Green staying with the plate, cleaning things up? Like the activity of the Rockets. It's been, it's been nothing perfect about this start, but the Rockets keep hanging with these plays, and that's what you got to have. Talk about confidence. A lot of hustle, a lot of effort, a lot of defense by Tari Eason. Eason, and he ended up getting fouled, and he will go to the line. But man, he's got fingerprints all over the first three minutes and 57 seconds of this game. He, he plays without the basketball. He's active. He reminds me so much of a former teammate and former Rocket Trevor Ariza, just active without the ball. And you see him here on the break, and that, you see McDaniel slap down. He catches the left wrist of Tari Eason, and that, that's where the foul was. And, oh, no unfortunate. Another free throw miss, but excellent job from Tari Eason. And, you know, sometimes you need that fourth or fifth guy, Craig. He's got one more. Now, a quick message from Credit Karma. <laughs> Ready to create your own karma? Get the money app where your hard work pays off. Credit Karma, proud partner of the Houston Rockets. Rockets up by 10. That's 7 for Easton. McDaniel tops in the lane, gets warmed, throws it up, and he scores, but they made it hard. Rockets already with 10 paint points with Gobert playing for the first time in four games for Minnesota. Dominating the paint. Back to Easton on the block. Nothing doing. Now to Shingoon. Thought about it. Puts on the floor. Spins on Gobert from the elbow. He ends up making the shot foot. And then the last time that Al P saw Rudy Gobert, the first half was excellent. Now you need it in the second, but it does so much for his confidence. Oh, look at KJ. Coming over to help Tari Eason. Eason was the guy, I think, who... He's, yep, he's the guy who picked up the foul. But KJ with a big-time block with the help, but not before Eason fouled Gobert. And look at how he can't get all the way to the rim, and that's excellent touch. He, he's about to step inside the free-throw line, and KJ's hunting those seven-footers, man, <laughs> looking to block a shot and dunked all over Gobert the last game. Gobert makes the first free-throw. One thing. Good, good job. You know, Rudy Gobert, he's a force inside. Let's, let's not take any, any credit away from who he is. But if you're the Rockets, you beat Gobert's size with activity. You keep coming at him. Keep fighting him. You don't want to avoid him. You start to avoid him, and you're going to be in store for a long, long night. And then all that stuff starts to get into your head and all yes. that stuff. Attack him. He's going to do what he does. He's not He's not nearly as aggressive this season in Minnesota as we see him in years past, all those years in, in Utah. He's not nearly blocking as many shots. They attack him again. They jump it off the tar east in the corner. Works it on Anderson. Shot clock is about to go off, so Eric Gordon fires up three misses. Look at Tar Eason again. Offensive rebound. The wraparound to Shin. Shoot it. Got And he does. Let's give our first quarter MVP award right now to Tari Eason. He is, and again, we're talking about his activity. And we have a walk on Minnesota. That was one of the weirder possessions yeah. that I've seen. They had to get multiple guys. It looked like they weren't exactly sure when the ball came to them what they were supposed to do with it, but they turned it over. Shingun's got a handful of points. An assist, a nasty assist, a couple of rebounds to start the game. Jalen Green, the floater high off over McDaniel. That was not an easy make. Jalen, the ability for him to hit tough shots is there. That's rare. Not a lot of guys can do that. You just want to see Jalen get more easy looks. He's so talented, but hey, that, that's going to all come along, man. Eason rips down the rebound, number four there. We got Jalen Green after the tough one the other night. It's three of four. He's got six. Eason to Martin Porter. And that was off the side of the backboard, and that was not close. Anderson back up top to a wide open Edwards. We're going to see him start to heat up again. He's one of five after 
starting 0-4 with that make their three. And here's the thing. Anthony Edwards and Gobert, they had figured out a chemistry. They don't really, you know, this team still figure out how do we use Rudy Gobert best. He was uh, more of a lob threat in Utah. The offense ran a lot through him. And fouls called on Anderson. Oh, Anderson. He did throw it right at him. Jalen playing with a little attitude, man. Trying to attack Kyle Anderson, a really good defender. And... <laughs> Jalen's, Jalen's spicy, man. He, he, he got some fight to him, man. Tell you what, some, some refs might tee up for that. He could, he could have been, but you like the no call there. Let basketball players be basketball players. Russell blocked by Shengun. Oh, racing down the length of the floor. Did not read who came in for Gobert. Ends up getting tied up with Jalen Green. And both men go spiraling down. And now Jalen Green hops up and has some words. And I think it's more of a continuation with Kyle Anderson. No, listen, I'll, I'll be honest. As a former player, someone, it looked like Anderson pushed Reed. Yep. He ends up pushing Reed, and Reed just takes Jalen out. And this is dangerous. Guys get hurt like that. Glad that Jalen fell the right way. Yeah, we got. We still have both teams milling around one another near midcourt. But yeah, Jalen's fortunate that the Anderson shove on his teammate Reed with him falling into the back of his ankles and knees didn't result in some kind of an injury. And now Anderson also got teed up, and did he just get another one? Boy, I tell you what, Jay, they're still having to separate. You have team security out there. They're st you're still having to separate these two teams, namely Jalen Green. But, boy, there's a lot going on there with Kyle Anderson. I, I, I know he definitely got one T and the personal foul. We'll review this play for a potential hostile act. Or well, the play did not immediately resolve with this assistant official. So Jalen's right here. He could have been hurt, and I mean severely hurt. And he is absolutely frustrated from that play. And the team is on a losing streak. We'll, we'll be honest with it, and that's sometimes the frustration that sets in. But the fact that he, he just could have gotten taken out there, you get his frustration. And, you know, for the referees, they got to jump in there and, and clean that up a lot 